It's not uncommon for sequels and a franchise to underwhelm their predecessors. However, there's one video game that seems to smash records every time a new version is released. In fact, this video game achieved the remarkable feat of grossing $1 billion in just three days after its fifth major release in 2013. At the time, it was the fastest entertainment product, not just in the gaming industry, but across all forms of entertainment to reach that revenue milestone. Nearly 200 million copies have sold worldwide, and it is the second best-selling video game of all time. Investors and gaming enthusiasts alike are now anticipating a sixth installment in the franchise, set to be released sometime in 2025. If you haven't guessed already, this game is none other than Grand Theft Auto, developed by Rockstar Games, published by Take-Two Interactive. If you're not familiar, it's an open-world game where you can explore and interact with the city. You have the freedom to pretty much do whatever you want in the game, including crime. Since the fifth installment of the game, stock ticker TTWO has advanced from roughly $17 to $175 a share. That's an increase of over 900% in 10 years. Despite analysts anticipating over $1 billion and net bookings during its first year on the market, Take-Two stock actually fell around 3% the following morning after the GTA 6 trailer was released. The stock has since recovered those losses, but why would the stock dip on good news and hype? Well, we can't know for sure, but one of the reasons could be traders simply taking profits after the news. The stock had already advanced around 16% since November 8th when Rockstar Games announced they would release the trailer within a month. Traders could have also sold due to fears that gamers were not impressed with the game or maybe they were disappointed and the release date pushed to 2025. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trailer if you were a GTA fan. It doesn't look like the trailer reveals much of the true gameplay, but hopefully the cinematics hint at a game with incredibly detailed graphics. I've personally never played any of the GTA games, but might have to buy it when it comes out, you know, for research purposes. After the trailer was released, some analysts, according to MarketBeat.com, have risen their one-year price targets to as high as $186 a share, representing up to 20% upside. And those raises came in even after the stock has risen over 50% year-to-date. It should be noted that GTA 6 will have no significant impact on revenue until the game is at least available for pre-orders. However, if analysts are raising their price targets, and encouraging their clients to buy Take-Two Interactive stock, should you? Well, a good place to start when answering that question is to take a look at the fundamentals. PE is negative, which means this stock has negative earnings, aka losing money when considering cash flow. PS is looking just under average, meaning the stock is slightly less expensive than usual with this metric alone. Revenue has been on the rise for the last five years, so that's good, but operating income and net income has been in the red for the last four quarters, which is not great. Net margin is negative 28% and has been worsening in the last four quarters. Again, that is a trend we don't like to see. The debt to asset ratio isn't too terrible, but assets have declined in the past four quarters while debt has risen. So another metric trending in an unfavorable condition. The one year average analyst price target only gives about 5% upside. Looking at forward projections for the next couple of years, it would appear that PE is projected to be in positive territory consistent with a growth stock. Long term take two could give modest returns from a fundamental perspective. However, the stock does tend to miss earnings estimates. Therefore, any future projections shouldn't be considered as fact. The reality is I'd probably be better off investing in an index long term. If I was buying today's prices short term, I'd close out at around 166 and my stop would be at 152. I wouldn't want to have to dig myself out of the bottom of this channel. The FOMO trend could continue, but I personally think a lot of the hype and revenue boost for GTA 6 is already priced in for the next couple of years. Well, that's all for today. If you have a stock you'd like me to cover next, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on Take-Two Interactive stock. If you made it this far in the video, science says you'll probably like my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.